The air filter in this one is right up here. And somehow it comes out. These new cars are so wonderful. Yeah. Remember back in the days. You unscrew the wing. Back in the days, you, you went to the store and you bought a model car and put it together. And you could either buy the snap together or the glue, the glue kind. And you know, the glue kind was the same technical guy had to do the snap together. You did as a two year old. The new cars, they are just snap together. <laughs> Yep. So now going into spring, is this a good time to check my air filter? Every time or you change your oil is a good time to check your oil filter, for your air filter. Air filter. I assume it's not new, but it's it's good, but it should be, mm. could be dusted out. Vacuum it out? Yeah, vacuum it out. I don't like to, I don't like to, a lot of people say, well, I'll just blow air through it. I don't like to, I don't like to take and just blow air through the, what happens? Too much pressure and uh, the paper. You know, you take a chance the way these are set up. You know, you take a you chance to blow a hole in the paper. When I blow a hole in there, now I'm getting unfiltered air into my engine. So to take and you know, yeah, tap it out. This, tap it out. That type of deal. Uh, that's a good thing. But blowing it out now. Now the other thing, if you like to. Um, you don't want to have to ever replace your air filter. I personally prefer the K&N filters. They're a cleanable filter. Get a little more performance advantage of it. More money, right? They're, well, they're more money right up front, but you never have to replace the air filter ever again. All, all you have to do is clean it. Yep. They come with a chemical. You spray on there, you rinse it out with water, you put the oil back on it, and away you go. I'll show you the difference in a little bit on that. Yeah, we'll display it. You're pretty cool. So, the filtering, it's, a, it's actually a medical grade gauze that they're using for the filter. And then they're putting a light film of oil on it to help collect any extra fine particles. The neat thing about it, the K&N filter, you know, used to be everybody did it for the performance part of it. All the race car guys, you know, they did it because they flew, they flowed better air. Well, then start thinking about it with the, with the normal passenger car, and it's like, okay, with my car, you know, when I have a dirty air filter, I get more fuel economy. So everybody's always promoting it. But, you know, make sure your air filter's clean, make sure your air filter's clean. Okay, and then said, so let's start building them for normal passenger cars, okay? And the thing about it is, you take your stock air filter, and you know, a little ball floats up in the air. I did this right. the airflow it cut off. Okay? Put my can air, air filter in it. It flows like it's flows like there's no air filter in it. I ain't showing you how the, the difference in the restriction. So what'll that do for my fuel economy? Well here's here's my Uncle Jay's stupid theories. Your your engine a, a dirty air filter or like this type of situation and the factory air filter. Um, if you go down to Dairy Queen and you buy yourself a malt, and you put a straw in that malt, and you try sucking the malt up through the straw, you know how hard it is, right? Okay. You go get yourself a Pepsi and you put a straw in it, how easy is that Pepsi come with the straw? Pretty easy. Okay, your engine is no different. It's on the end of that straw, and it's trying to suck air. It's trying to suck that malt through. I mean, it's trying to suck air through the malt or through the Pepsi. So if my motor doesn't have to suck as hard to to get what it needs, the, the air, it's gonna run more efficient. Right? It's gonna it's easier on it. Better for it. 